church for the intruder has suddenly turned into a nightmare. Emma claims that I have lost, was lost in the woods for six hours. To make matters worse, someone broke into my office and stole the telegrams. While following the thief, I ended up facing terrible truth. We've been watched for a long time. The Soviets, they know everything, every detail. This whole thing is getting more and more complicated. I'm starting to think that Nicholas did it. In fact, uh, Nicholas did not, in fact, lose his mind. He, too, was stalked by someone with every with his every step. Okay, so, um, yeah, so the Nicholas like, is the one in the past, and he... Yeah, he keeps going across demons and messed up ghosts and stuff. And, like, uh, I think it's his dad who's, like, some sort of evil top hat dude. And uh, then in the main line, we've got this dude who is a uh, Where am I? code oh, director. Fuck. Oh, lovely. This is the bottom of some fucking well. How do I get out? Oh, lovely. Um, I think that was the sheriff now beheaded. Well, he doesn't need his hand no more. Yeah. Fuck, I think I'm gonna puke. Sorry, sorry, that's the one leg. Like, oh, hey, there's no inside. Um. Rocks. Throwing rocks. Oh, I see where's. I caught it. Oh, awesome. And. Ah. Climb the chain. Now. The bike is gonna break. You are dead. I hit the wrong key. Oops. <laughs> Just because I remember the beginning of this game with your wife like chained up and stuff, I'm starting to. Fuck, the that. bike is gonna break. as soon as possible. Say that so, like, I must get back to Emma as soon as possible. You, know, you think you'd be a little bit more like, holy crap, I gotta get back to my wife! My wife! She's sitting there! And then Soviets! The Soviets! Alright, we gotta get back. There we go. Emma's alone at home. I must get back to her as fast as I can. No bueno. Go to go the other way. Let's go the other way. Let's see what we have. All right. Time to go for a nice little run. Oh, there we go. Bowling board. Once in a while, I can figure out how to do that properly. <clears throat> All right, now we go down this way. Whee! Yay! Okay, there's a light. Lights. I get it, the lights mean that's the way to go, but why don't you pick it up? I've left my wife alone and there's a maniac on the prowl. I just hope she's alright. 
Yeah, see, I said that back when we were doing this last time. I said, why did he leave his life alone? Like, I take her, you were with you. That would completely make sense if you just took her with you. But no, let's go and stay at home. Or let leave her at home while I go wandering around. And you're dead. We know that. Oh, do I have the key for his truck? That'd be cool. I'll deal with the car later. Emma's more important right now. Well, not to me. Well, I guess it should be. Emma! Where is she? There you are. Emma. He's been here again. This time, what happened to you? Why do you look like this? I, uh, slipped and fell into a stream. I'm all right. He's come back, you hear me? He keeps harassing us. The phone doesn't work. Maybe he cut the wires or... The important thing is, he didn't do anything to you. But he could have. Look what I found. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have left you alone. Did you meet the sheriff? He's dead. He, uh, no, I must have missed him. I found the telegrams, though. And believe it or not, the diary I told you about? Diary? Nicholas's diary. It'll help me decode them. I just need to find the remaining pages and then... You're doing it again! Someone wants to kill us, and all you're worried about is work? Why don't you think about me? About our child? I do think, all the time. Then do something to keep us safe, and do it fast. It'll be over soon, I promise. It's a horror movie. Uh, I think that would be basically, oh, it'll be over soon. Emma's on edge. She needs to calm down. I better check what the sheriff was up to. Luckily, I've got his car keys. Oh yeah, she should calm down. Yeah, totally she should calm down at the fact that some guy is running around leaving a note saying that he's going to kill her if you don't stop what you're doing. And then you straight up tell her, oh, I'm going to keep doing it. And yeah, I know it's your job, but like at this point, like go back to wherever it is you came from. Burn this place to the fucking ground and just go, you know, and uh, yeah. Go back. I mean, come on. It's not really that hard. Police report. Never had a chance to write that summary. The same person that turned uh, life into life to hell has brought the sheriff's lights to a brutal end. Okay, let's what's this say? Case, blah blah blah, second degree burglary. Incident details on Tuesday, August 28th at 4.12 p.m. The police station in Windhelm received a phone call concerning a supposed uh, secondary burglary on the private property of Blackstone. The caller, who said her name was Emma Stevenson, claimed that while her husband was away, an unidentified trespasser entered the property and punctured the tires of Mr. and Mrs. Stevenson's cars. Action takes and I arrived at the spot at 5.03 p.m. Upon preliminary examination, I... Can confirm without absolute certainty that the tires of Mr. and Mrs. Stevenson cars were indeed punctured with a sharp tool. Footprints left in the mud indicate a man. I will talk to the owner and then, after further examination, I will try to put my conclusions into summary. Alright, so. Normal read, spin around. And. What's this? Damn these events that Nicholas mentioned in his diary. So he didn't make up or embellish anything. Too bad I didn't know these legends before moving here. What's this? The house that Mr. and Mrs. Stevenson's now live in was a very eventful history. In the 19, uh, 1850s, there was an incident in the nearby mine, and at least a few people went missing in the, the immediate area. When a body of one of the missing people was found, accusations were made against a certain Jacob Hyde, the miner's co-owner, who happened to live in the very same house. It wasn't until years later that the old other bodies were found which is why the area has become shrouded in dark legends. The murderer was never apprehended. Yep, that's no good. And that's why they're going to find out who he is from the past. Come on. Fine, I'll go on the other side. Gimme. Where did he get that from? An uncle from the KGB? Why is someone doing something like this? That 
Oops. That seems rather... Yeah, that seems like the sheriff was the KGB agent. Is the other guy just supposed to be watching me to... What's this? In the late 19th century, the Hyde family, in order to avoid further association with the accusations against Jacob Hyde, legally changed their name to Stevenson. What? What the fuck? Am I supposed to believe that my family and the Hydes are one and the same? That's fucking absurd. So someone would have told me if we had such stories in our family history, wouldn't they? Unless... Unless it's bullshit. Bullshit invented by the sheriff. He wanted to set me up, mess with my head. Was he even a real sheriff? Fuck, I seriously can't put my finger on this. Man, you are gonna overreact and be like, oh my god, the guy I'm reading about Nicholas and all that messed up shit is family related. That makes a lot more sense. Um Z. Alright. Oh, Charles Gray, Blackstones, 1854, instant murder, instant details on uns. Saturday, September 11th, at night, the sheriff's office in Wind Hill received a notice from the hillside inn janitor Charles Grady concerning a badly wounded man who had arrived at the inn. Actions taken. Upon arrival, the deputy sheriff, the un undersigned Daniel Plainview, pronounced the man dead. The victim turned out to be John Norton, who had been missing for two weeks. Death was uh, caused by blood loss. The man had been stabbed in the neck with a sharp tool, possibly a knife which caused an artery injury. He also had multiple cuts and lacerations on his body, as well as burns, uh, some of them partially healed. In the course of investigation of the scene, it was it has been established the man had been reached Hillside Inn, going along the road through the woods from the estate on the other side of the river, and that belongs to Jacob Hyde. The owner of both the inn and the mine, however, the suspect was not at home, though there were signs that he had left in a hurry. The Secrets of Blackstone Crime. Uh, in the 19th C, the family, Hyde family, in order to avoid further association with the accusations against Jacob Hyde, allegedly changed their name Stevenson. Okay, so, and then. It's Jesus! It's similar, but I can't recall exactly where I've seen it before. Definitely some house. Additional comments. While searching the Hyde family estate, the sheriff and the deputy found a hidden room located directly above the office. Uh, inside, in the d dark, there were, was Jacob's teenage son, Nicholas Hyde, cowering on the floor. They were unable to communicate with him. The boy does not react to any stimuli. Perhaps the f he has fallen into a stupor as a result of the abuse from his father. Young Hyde has been placed in the care of a psychiatrist who will decide on his further treatment. The sheriff has issued the arrest warrant for fugitive Jake Hyde with a bounty of five hundred dollars. Oh. Another secret. A hidden room in our house. I have to check it out. That fucker could have even been there when we moved in. Too bad I didn't know about it before. I don't know. I'm starting to wonder if the sheriff was the commie. And yeah, see there's Jesus. Jesus' arm. It points directly. And he wants something. What was the thing? This is it. I just need to place the disc in the opening, just like in the picture. Okay, and then... What happens the night will be judged by in daylight. What stays hidden in the dark will be revealed in the path of the light. Oh. Really, in full light. Did I just hear... Oh, he has this thingy too. Cool. Eighteen sixty-four. Eighteen sixty-four. Oh, right here. Eighteen. Da, right there. Eighteen sixty-four. H becomes R, or R is an H. Perfectly straight up. And anything? Ah! Oh, God. 
That was so straightforward. I feel like very dumb at this point. Very, very dumb. <laughs> uh, I got it though. Okay, wait. Okay. It looks like a set of dates. Each corresponds to one letter. Okay, so this is 17. Okay, so 1773 plus C. Okay, we're just going to start right with that one. So 1773 plus C. 1773 64 with A. I'm going to put that at C. E? Let's see if that... Eighteen... Eighteen twenty-three plus M. Okay, so again, back. Eighteen twenty-three plus M. And we move. Eighteen... Twenty-three. It says G. Okay. I'm probably doing this horribly wrong, but that says E G. Egoism. Bingo. That was well thought out, Nicholas. Okay. Holy head grenade! Holy head grenade! Yeah! <laughs> This isn't some trinket. It looks like it, it could fit somewhere. Uh... No, just put the apple in the right place. Well, that's obvious. It's in Jesus' hand. A hidden map in our house. I've got to check that out. She totally wants a holy hand grenade. What was that cursed place? What do all those words and symbols mean? Father, mother, son, death, liars, thieves, fortress, monster, saddest, he and I. We both saw through a hole in the wall what my father did to that lady. Hunting dangerous game is not is most fun. Oh. I make long trips with, without even moving. Human beast. Human equals beast. Oh, God. Uh, sounds like everyone I meet has two faces. One is human, the other one is the face of a beast. Um, I think he was broken. I think Nicholas got, like, broken. And... There we go, that's gonna flip me to the next chapter, probably. Okay. Well, oh. yeah. well, here goes nothing. God, Nicholas was locked up in the dark room by his father, mentally abused. It's a good thing he wasn't all alone, but why did he mention the other boy in his diary? Not e even his name was written in it. All right, uh, what's this say? I've apologized so many times, but he, ha he says I must be punished to learn. Dad, why are you hurting me? I kept asking. He was so furious that his face went red. Finally, he spat and said, Why Why do you keep getting hurting us? Darkness is the worst. I hate it. There is nothing that scares me more. I don't even know what I did wrong this time. Maybe I didn't do anything. Maybe it was wrong I even was born. I think my father wants to get rid of me. It's not because I did something wrong. It's about me. He, he just doesn't want me in his life. I'm a nuisance to him. What else could it be? The fact I took his pencil, the one I, I write with now, whenever a bit of light comes through those cracks, I really don't know. March 24th, 1850. I've had a crazy 
I had a dream where I, I took off my clothes and ran around the, in naked, yelling at guests like crazy. They were scared of me. They were adults, and yet they were scared. It was just a dream. In fact, I am the one who was scared. I broke a plate. All my dinner wasted. Father thought I, I did it on purpose. I never do anything on purpose. My hands are shaking. I can't write it anymore. May 15th, 1850. I'm not alone here. He's walking around the house too. I'm not sure if I like it. He's not saying anything, just smiling. I'm looking down, not saying anything. June 6th, 1850. He's actually nice to me. Not the way I f first thought he was. At least I, I have some company for my trips to the woods. I can't tell father anything. He would get mad. August 11th, 1850. Today is the same old story. Closet and d darkness. This time he's here with me. I tell him I was good and it wasn't my fault. It's my father and others to blame. The old man locks me up because he's ashamed of me. He'd rather I had been born or I had someone else. At first he doesn't believe me, uh, but then he says I'm, all, I'm right. He tells me not to worry and to be patient. He says everything will be all right. I tell him it's, it's already is because neither of us will be alone again. September 23rd, 1850. I'm not a child anymore. I don't have to listen to my father just because he's a big, bigger and older. I'm smart. I ha have lots of ideas. I talked with other, with them when we both sat in the dark. He said, it's, it's sick, so what? Maybe I'm sick after what the world has done to me. At night, I will go into the woods and hunt for dangerous beasts. October 2nd, 1850. He went to sleep, so I'm going alone. The old man has brought a new horror to the inn. He thinks no one will notice. I saw saw Whitehead spit, you know, spit a, a miner in the face. Uh, I clenched my fists, dreaming they were are beating them both to a pulp. October seventh, eighteen fifty. He had no idea what I planned, but it's only a matter of days. I will tell him soon. I know where the old man keeps gunpowder barrels. As soon as we get out of this effing closet, I'm going. To Ah, going to have a ball. I asked the dame from the inn if she would show me her, her you know what. Uh, she told the old man, plus she t took me f for N, took me for N, and now we're both rotting in here. I should have F killed her. People like that are just a waste of space. That The closet is the worst effing place or worse everything I wish I could shatter it <laughs> into pieces well I'm known to similar place in fact it's quite the same dark cold and hell like it must burn if we want to put an end to, to our suffering people are effing scum I've said it all along it's starting to sound like the young Nicholas is the one who killed everybody you know like he said he's gonna go hunt beasts on the wall it said that there was human equals beast so he sneaks out in the woods at night after being locked up and then goes and kills somebody and then his dad gets blamed for it but it wasn't his dad that's what i'm starting to get the picture of here you know is it just two pages oh i think he's everyone i meet is two faces one is human another face is the beast I make long trips without even moving. Yeah, the other boy is something in his head. So is the top head not his dad, but maybe the other him? Reminding him about all the people he killed? Hi, Mary. Oh, what's this? There we go, we found something. We found something. Man in the mask. Now I know who he is. What the hell is that? Uh oh, oh. I thought the next chapter was about to start. Someone's at the door. That's the 